I'm here with my Dash Egg Bite Maker and a quarter pound hamburger patty. So that's a quarter pound of ground beef. Can we cook a hamburger in the Dash Egg Bite Maker? Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So I recently received a question asking me if I'd ever made a hamburger in the Dash Egg Bite Maker and I haven't. So I thought we can try that now and see how it comes out. The viewer that had that question said when they tried to make a hamburger, the hamburger did not brown. They also said that the newer Dash model seemed to be made in Indonesia. The model that I have says made in Indonesia underneath. And they also said that the egg bite makers seem to not be getting hot enough. Now, several months ago, I did film a video where I put a surface thermometer on the Dash Mini Griddle and also the Dash Egg Bite Maker. And the Dash Egg Bite Maker only heats up to about 320. So this Egg Bite Maker does not get as hot as the Dash Mini Griddle or the Dash 8 inch griddle. I believe the Dash 8 inch griddle was even hotter than the Mini Griddle. So I'm curious to see what happens if we try to make a hamburger in this Dash Egg Bite Maker. I'm just waiting for the blue light to go off. Once that goes off, then we are ready to cook in it. I formed this hamburger patty myself, so it's not going to be picture perfect. It's just a very imperfect round hamburger patty. But let's see how it cooks. So the blue light just went off. Let's open this up. We're going to be really careful because it's very hot. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. And I'm gonna take my hamburger patty. Let's put it in here. So it's sizzling. We'll shut the top and I'm gonna put a stopwatch on and we'll come back in about five minutes. It's been five minutes now. Let's open this up and see what's going on in here. So it's cooking. I'm seeing some, some water coming out of the meat. It's definitely not browned on top. I don't think the top is going to hit the top surface, so I don't think the top will brown. Let's check out the bottom. There's the bottom. It is just the slightest bit brown. So let's shut this and cook this for another five minutes. It's been 10 minutes now. The hamburger is kind of smelling like it's done. Let's open this up. And that's what it looks like. There's a lot of water coming out of it. And that's what the back looks like. So what I'm finding very interesting is that when I cook a hamburger in the Dash Mini Griddle, there's a lot of fat that comes out of it. Like when I remove the hamburger from the griddle, it's just a lot of fat. And this time when I'm cooking this, it's really a lot of, it's a lot of water. I mean, there's some fat in the water also, but do you see how much liquid came out. So I'm going to unplug this. Let's cut into this hamburger and see what's going on inside. So this is 10 minutes in the egg bite maker. And that's what it looks like inside. It's definitely cooked. I would say this is pretty much well done, although there is still a little hint of pink inside. So this is probably like medium well well, but it definitely looks cooked. Let's cut into it. Not the best hamburger that I've had. I did make these totally plain just to demonstrate uh, how they cook in the egg bite maker. I didn't want any ingredients affecting the outcome, but there definitely was not any browning. There's not a nice sear on it. And when you do have some browning and a sear on it, you do get more flavor. So the flavor for this is kind of bland. I don't even have any salt and pepper on it, but it is cooked. So if all I had was a Dash Egg Bite Maker and I was having a craving for a hamburger and I wanted to cook a hamburger, yeah, it would cook a hamburger. It would do the job, but it's not going to cook a really good hamburger. The Dash Mini Griddle and the Dash Mini Grill are much better at cooking a hamburger than the Dash Egg Bite Maker. But it can be done. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.